Hello friends, welcome back to Snip Recorder and in today's video we will understand the new feature introduced in Flutter 3.24. So the first feature introduced is the new silvers for our dynamic app flowers. So there they introduced two things. First one is a pin header silver and the second one is a silver resizing header. And we can also create the headers that float, that stay pin and resize on the scrolling. Also, they have simplified the APS for the enhanced combination for the both. So introduce the sample codes such as recreating iOS settings, app bar effects and all. Second update is in our Cappuccino library and there they have have an improvement in our Cappuccino action sheet over there. And there they have the enhanced haptic feedback when we sliding across the buttons. And the second one is that they updated the font size and the weight to match the native counterparts and all. And a new feature they introduced over there is like added the focus property to our cappuccino buttons and also customized disabled color for our cappuccino text fields. And there are also upcoming updates also like ongoing the refresh of the cappuccino library with more updates which are expected in our future release. So the next update they introduce a new widget that is tree view widgets. So in the tree view widget they have the new in the two dimensional scrollables package and also support the performance scrolling tree in all directions like you can see in the image also and they have also updated the sample app with the table view and the tree view uses so also they have the tree silver addition also and for building one dimensional scrolling trees and also the matching APS with the tree view for the easy switching between the use cases and all so next update they have introduced a new carousal widget and so now we don't have to depend on the third party carousal widget and all and now it is introduced in our material design itself and also introduced in as a feature of the uncontained layout also you can see in the image also scrollable list is with the dynamic size change for leading and the trailing items as they scroll in and out of the view so next update they did in the selection area and there they did the announcement like they have support the native gesture for the triple click and the double tap and also the default in the selection area and the selectable reason widgets. Also the triple clicks over there and with the triple clicks user can select the paragraph blocks at the click positions and with the triple clicks plus the track we can also extend the selection in the paragraph blocks you can see in the image and then in the double tap also they have the double tap selection the word at the tap position which now support for the android ios and the web also and with the double tap plus the drag also extend that selection word block also and that also support in our native android and the ios web there are many updates for our web updates also and they introduce the new thing that is multi view embedding for our flutter web so now we can also render the content into the multiple html elements which is known as a embedded mode or the multi mode so what are the features like feature is like dynamic rendering now flutter app wait for the host application to add the view using add view method and there is a flexible management host application can dynamically add or remove the views and flutter will adjust wizard accordingly so it is like we have to amend our flutter application code in our other application web application that we can do now and for enabling it we have to just set the multi view enable true in the initialize engine method within our flutter bootstrap.js and we can also manage view via javascript by adding removing them to or from html elements and now what is the benefit of doing that like this is either for the complex web application requiring where we have a multiple independence flutter views there we can use it like we have created a suppose we are having a e-commerce application okay and there we have a multiple section like a card section then we have the order section and all that we can create independent views and that we can indicate in the single application and also it support the custom initialization data for personalized configuration and interactive experience and they have also provided the detailed guidance available for our implementing of the multi-view amending in our flutter application and you can check out in the flutter dot website so the next thing they introduce is the monetization and there now you can do the video ad monetization support in our application and they can provide interactive mobile ads plugin for the flutter mobile apps 
and there we have the enhanced monetization opportunities within our in-stream video ads. In-stream video ads we can show in our as a pre-roll, mid-roll or as a post-roll video contents and that can also be a skippable ads. So what are the benefits? So now we can monetize our video player content in our Flutter application and we can also access the premium Google Ads demands and industry standard compliance. So right now they are only providing support for the pre-roll video ads on the Android and iOS and very soon they will provide the support for the mid-roll ads also. So here you can see in the example video also like there is a 15 second ads which is coming before our video content. So in this way you can also monetize your video content in the Flutter itself with the help of the new monetization support in our Flutter application. So there are other so there are other improvements they did in the Flutter 3.24. There is a engine and they improve the performance and the fidelities in the iOS. They have support for the Swift package manager. Initially they support for the Coco port. So now they provide the support for the Swift package manager. And also in the ecosystem they provide the share preference plugin updates and all. In Android, they improve the default for the downscale image and all, and also update the Flutter GPU provides. So these are the all features they introduce in our Flutter 3.24. So I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, share. I will come back soon with another awesome video. Thank you for watching the video.